on her body. So this is the review for the bicycle tattoo deck. So let's just get into the box design. Okay, so on the front of the box you can see that it says bicycle and tattoo. And in the middle of that there is a big image of a... It kind of looks like a carnival mask. And with some um, um, feathers around it and stuff. And in the background a white... Um, yeah, kind of like a plant with its leaves and stuff. And yeah, just in the middle it grey mask. And... Yeah, so that's the front side. Then on top we have a um, it's a yin and yang sign right here. And here it says poker. On one side it says air cushion finish. And on the other side it says tattoo. And then on the bottom we have a barcode reveal with these three of spades. Right here, I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard to see with the camera because it's, it just has a black border and yeah so yeah that's the bottom just that um, barcode reveal and then there's another reveal if you just open up the box there are only two flaps there is the reveal of the five of clubs but you can either um, force for example the five or the clubs if you want it's possible and also on the flap um, it tells you that this deck is designed by Stephen Rooks and yeah and on the back side of the box um, you can just see the regular design of the um, back of the tattoo deck yeah so that's the box design and yeah so let's go on with the card design okay so when you take out the deck you actually get two advertisement card or actually two extra cards and there's one advertisement card with just the um, a very coolly signed Ace of Spades in the middle of it and it says Rook's Designs, I think it's just another company of this guy and on the bottom there is an email address to maybe personal message the, the guy and yeah it's also very cool cause the kinda like blood splatters around it and in the middle just a um yeah something around the um, death head so that's just the advertisement card and also pretty cool it has the regular um, back design so you actually can maybe use it to force something or I don't know but pretty cool and then you also get one death card um, with the six of, six of clubs on one side and the four of clubs on the other side so that's pretty cool and then you get two jokers and both of the jokers are normal so there are no um, reveals or anything like that or at least I didn't find any of them but it's actually again the um, the mask, the grey mask in the middle of it and then in the background there are um, um, pink rays and around the mask there is yeah, kind of stuff around it can't describe it but you can see it so and that's just the choker and yeah both chokers are the same so there's nothing more to say so that's just the two chokers um, then we get one very cool looking ace of spades it's actually um, the spade in the middle of the card and with a yellow to black gradient on both sides so it's just um, mirrored and, and yeah around we 
um, get kind of like a pink border so but also in the shape of a spade so it's just around and in the background we have um, green rays and on the bottom it says ace of spades and right here in pink it says the United States playing card company made in USA um, yeah, and also pretty cool because the spades are in pink then we get the diamonds which are in green and we get the clubs which are in blue and the hearts which are in yellow so I think that's pretty cool one thing which I very like at these decks because they are very colorful okay you don't see it right now because I'm a lefty maybe I could try it like so but you will see it in the spread after okay so that's just the four colors and the ace of spades and now the core cards are actually exactly the same as in a um, regular um, bicycle standard deck the only difference is that um, we actually get um, smaller pips and indexes in my opinion because as you can see right here the border is very big so and the index right here is very small and so this the picture of the card itself is very small so if you just look the regular bicycle um, yeah, the regular bicycle cards they are actually bigger in my opinion I'm not quite sure it was at the old ones not the standards but at the old ones it was like this so that's just one thing I don't like that much but everything else is exactly the same um, just a picture in the middle of the core cards and yeah but the cool looking pips and indexes in the um, colors that's pretty cool I think and yeah so the rest of the cards are actually exactly the same as in a regular deck um, but the um, smaller indexes and pips okay so that's just the deck itself now we also have the back um, the back is actually pretty cool in my opinion it's um, the mask on one side and it's actually mirrored to the other side right here so the gray mask mirrored to the other side then we also get that yin and yang sign which is again mirrored horizontal right down here and there are also some flames and stuff and in the background we have that green rays um, exactly the same as on the ace of spades front and then we also get a kind of like a blue border around that stuff around the mask and the yin and yang sign and stuff and also there are two of those and uh, there are four um, circles in yellow I don't know they actually look pretty cool but I don't know what this should mean and also what I thought is that the um, border around it looks pretty much as the Arco border I don't know if you see the Arco cards they are just they have the same shape there in the middle of the back design so I don't know kinda looks the same but looks pretty cool then we also get the black border around it and some thinner, uh, thinner corner, uh, thinner borders I mean, sorry about that um, in red and white so that's pretty cool I like the back design and now let's just see um, how the cords fan um, in my opinion these are not the best cords to fan well now it's pretty good but I don't know they also have the air cushion finish but I think the they they don't fan that good as the regular as the regular bicycle playing cards I don't know why but in my opinion it's like this but they ribbon spread very well and evenly so it's very well and also again the colors look very cool in my opinion so I think this is pretty cool 
and also the back design looks pretty cool in the spreads I can just show you again looks pretty cool I think and yeah so they actually also dribble very well but I don't know I actually wouldn't use this deck too much for performing magic um, especially if you perform live for um, spectators because I don't know the the design of the cards is actually um, a little bit awkward so I think the spectators could get um, suspicious about anything although there isn't anything funny about the deck but that's just my opinion and um, yeah so I don't know but if you are a collector then I think this deck is a absolutely must have because just the design and stuff and also if you just perform magic um, in my opinion this is a deck that you should definitely have it's worth a try and it's pretty cool and yeah if you want to buy one of these then just go to this website www.dievali.de or if you are in the USA then I think you can also get this at a magic shop or internet magic shop in the USA and yeah so and that's your review I think you should get one of these doesn't matter if magician or collector it's a pretty nice deck and yeah so that's it thanks for watching please thumb comment and subscribe and by the way Merry Christmas!